Hello you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my official, or our official should I say, because it's Nick and I's house. Not mine, ours. <laughs> welcome to our empty house tour. I forgot to kind of do a proper intro, so I thought I would pop in here and say hello. As you can see, we've started moving stuff in. I thought before I got cracking it with moving vlogs, I would show you guys an empty house tour. I filmed this right after we got the keys and the tradies had just left, so the lighting was the best but you guys will see um in the moving vlogs and all the vlogs to come the natural lighting in here is so nice um especially on a sunny day we actually had potentially some of the worst weather this weekend throughout the whole moving process again i've been vlogging everything so that'll be up very soon but just thought i would kick things off with this empty house tour if you're not already subscribed make sure you do so if you are new here welcome to the family my name is ella i'm 26 and i live in adelaide with my husband do you want to come say hello <laughs> isn't it weird like we literally watched this house come to life it was nothing it was, so, nothing. It was a it piece was of nothing. dirt we made it something. <laughs> yeah, just the two of us just <laughs> shoveling away. <laughs> shoveling away. Get the hands dirty. Yeah, I'm 26, live in Adelaide with my husband. We just purchased, or I, I shouldn't say purchase. We just finished building our first house and just moved in. I do a lot of vlogs, lifestyle content, as well as budgeting and personal finance videos. So if any of that is your vibe, definitely subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up and uh, let's roll the house tour. Also, thank you to my cameraman. Sorry about that. Some camera quality work. camera work. <laughs> oh, hey MTV. Welcome to my crib. <laughs> Come in. Welcome to our official empty house tour. I'm so excited to be doing this. It feels a bit surreal, doesn't it, babe? Absolutely. <laughs> I told him Nick he has to hold the camera really steady and he's like, like the concentration is real. Anyway. It's, it's like having an MRI scan. <laughs> Wait, when you're like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, welcome to our empty house where we're filming this as the sun is setting, so hopefully the lighting's not too bad. We have beautiful natural lighting in this house, which is like one of the main reasons we decided to build here. But this is the main little hallway. As you come through, we have the master bedroom. I love the windows, I wish you guys can see, but it would give away where we live. Beautiful floor to ceiling windows. We have some temporary blinds that are going in here, but eventually we're gonna get some big curtains floor to ceiling curtains yeah it's just so nice and bright in here we've got a beautiful view of the neighborhood hmm. stunning this is the carpet i forget what this is called but it's like a beautiful kind of like grayish color i thought it was going to be more of a light gray than this but i actually like it's very yeah. nice and warm it's lovely um over here we have our walk-in wardrobe where's the light where's the light is it on that side or is it this oh it's on the other okay. side we're new here <laughs> Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> this is the walk-in wardrobe. I don't really know what else to say. We've just got lots of hanging space. I think eventually we'll get some drawers and stuff, some shelving, but that's just how it comes. Then we have our ensuite. This is probably one of my favorite parts. It feels so nice and luxe in here. Mm -hmm. This is the shower. We've got this beautiful little ledge for all of our products. It goes the whole way through. If you see blue tape everywhere, it's just things that need to be fixed, but <clears throat> this is the shower. In all of the bathrooms we have a stone bench top which I love. A nice little upgrade and then just some under sink storage which we will definitely be utilizing. Got the toilet. I think because it's got floor to ceiling tiles it just feels so nice and like luxe. I love it. Yeah. And like so much room for activity. <laughs> Coming back into the hallway we have the garage over here. Just a a garage, can't be bothered showing you, but to the left we have our Harry Potter cupboard. This is where Susie's sleeping. <laughs> Actually goes quite far back, which is going to be amazing for storage. They just touched up in here so the paint fumes are real. <laughs> We're probably going to store our Christmas decorations and just like anything that we won't be reaching for a ton, but really nice to have that extra storage. In here we just have a little powder room. Is that what they call it? Powder room? Yeah, I just call it a toilet. <laughs> The dunny. The dunny's in there. So toilet, sink, again with the stone bench top. The stairs are up here, which we'll go up to in a moment, but coming through here, ow. Are you okay? Of this door, which is actually really nice. It'll be good if Nick is like working upstairs because there's a little study area up there so we can like close this off and block out some of the noise for watching TV, but it's 
not good. It's already so creaky. I like that it's glass as well, so it doesn't block off any of the natural light. A nice little feature. Um, over here we have the laundry. Yeah, pretty standard. We've just got some cupboard space, nice little hanging space, which isn't a good feature. Bench top, room for our washer, dryer, and then a really nice size linen cupboard. I really like this part. It's got a little cutout for your mops and stuff. Very cool. And then coming out of the laundry, we come into the main living area. We really wanted something that was like nice, open plan, light, bright, very echoey at the moment. All of the walls are very white. This is the Lexicon, Dulux Lexicon, I think it's called. Um, which is nice, nice to have like a white canvas and then we can do whatever we want with it. The floors, do you remember what they're called? No, nah, sorry. I tell you, but I really like them. Over here, this will be our dining area. So we've got like a six seat table that actually extends out, which will be really nice when we have guests over. That's coming to tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Nice big windows. Yeah. And then coming over here, this will be our living area. Don't mind the mess. <laughs> and a nice big wall. So much space. It's so echoey in here. It's weird. Yeah. I think over here, I think we're gonna have obviously TV, entertainment unit, couch. I think the couch doesn't go that way. No, this way. Mm -hmm. I think the chairs is here, right? Correct, yeah. And then it goes like that. Then we have a little chair there. We might possibly do some kind of shelving on that wall because it's like a decent size space. I don't know. And then we have our kitchen. Oh, that's the main shop. Just so nice. Originally we meant to have glass splashback, but they asked us if we wanted to upgrade it to a stone so it matches the countertops. And I'm actually really glad we did that. I think it looks really nice. Very seamless. Adds to the value of the house. Here we have a little pantry. I say little, it's actually quite big. It's actually quite a lot of storage for the size of the kitchen. All of this is covered space. No handles, which I really like. So it's very seamless. This is our little island. If you guys watched my house buying video, that was like a prerequisite. The house has to have an island. It was our one non-negotiable, and I'm really glad that we have it. I just feel like it really, especially in such an open plan living, it just creates such a nice atmosphere. It's just really nice to be able to see everything. Watch TV, chat to your friends. And this is our sink. A little double sink, stainless steel moment. This is where the dishwasher will go, cupboard. Microwave down here. We also got a beautiful, and I mean beautiful, welcome gift from our builders. <laughs> no, disaster! I'm already ruining this. How nice is this? We've got some Sheridan towels, little trampone. So nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's really excited about the towels. Egyptian cotton, only the best. Nothing but the best. <laughs> and then, I guess we can go upstairs, right? Is there anything else over here? No. That's it. Oh, outside, but it's not really finished. Oh, should we talk about the outside? Sure. Let's talk about the outside. Obviously, we have this beautiful garden, or what will be a beautiful garden. It's actually, if you come over here, it's actually a decent size. I feel like a lot of houses these days, especially new ones, come with like practically no backyard, so we've got really lucky with this. It's just not that yet. <laughs> So come back to us in a couple of weeks. Yeah. We have a nice little alfresco area, which would be really nice during the summertime. That's the rainwater tank, obviously not staying there. It's going to go here. We have our clothesline and then this will all be artificial grass. Gorgeous. Obviously a lot of work to be done, but I think it'll be really nice when it's finished. It's actually quite a big area. Stunning. Okay. Let's go upstairs. Do you want me to film you going up? <laughs> Got a nice big window to let all the natural light in. The stairs are nice, they're not too steep. Nah. Which is good for old mate with his knee. <laughs> right as you come up, we have our little study area. I say little, but it's actually huge. This huge like double desk. This is where Nick will be working. So set up his computer, it'll work from home. Situation. Moment. <laughs> it's really nice. A nice little feature and it really utilizes all the space the natural light up here is really nice um coming through here so directly opposite we have what is the main bathroom over here we have the shower 
little toilet roll. They haven't installed the toilet roll here, so it's just on the shower bench. But yeah, we've got shower, toilet, bath, which is actually a really nice size, a lot bigger than I was expecting with this beautiful little tap moment. Gorgeous. I reckon you could fit in there. Definitely. Which is You've exciting. never had a bath before in any of the rentals we've had. So. No. And then our sink. Again, with the stone bench top, it comes all the way down as well, which is really nice. <laughs> that camera work. I'm not sure that was my bench. <laughs> That's our main bathroom. We probably won't be, really be using it that much. Mm. Coming out from the bathroom, we have what will be my office. You guys will be very familiar with this space. Um, again, floor to ceiling windows, which I can't really show you because we don't have any blinds up yet or curtains. We'll have curtains up here and then also in the master bedroom. I just think it looks nice and luxe if you want it just like softens up the space because the windows are so big i think it's nice to have those curtains so we're gonna have shears and then like blackout curtains as well and hopefully it looks good but yeah this is the one of the bedrooms what will be my office um i think i'm gonna have my desk here i think do you think i reckon so yeah yeah i don't know and then we have some villain robes as well Ooh. again we'll probably get drawers and shelving and stuff eventually but that is it for now you can see me in the, with the camera <laughs> do you look like it's yeah. concentration yeah. Face, like. <laughs> and then coming back out here got a study again stairs down here nice little linen cupboard with heaps of storage stunning and then this is the third bedroom we got extra powerpoints in all of the rooms in case we want to configure it in a certain way um, and I'm really glad that we did that. Slightly smaller window. Can you see up? No, you can just see a tree. Mirrored robes again, which really opens up the space. I think that's it. Yeah. We did it. Yes. <laughs> that is our house, you guys.